Okay, yeah. We should be live now. I feel like we're missing people that were just in that yes. lobby before. So I'll just get, once I get that link, mate, I'll be right. Yeah, you yeah. And then I'll go, and then I'll go live as soon as I'm on. Maybe that was, maybe those were the only people in the lobby. Um, I feel like there's one more. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we're live, so. Kid buyers. Just need the link. Nine hundred and thirty-seven. So I'm. Yeah. Nice. Um. So I'm going to be in the party, but I'm game my mic muted. So if you, if anything happens and you need me to jump in talking, then yeah. But I'll be watching the stream. Obviously, I can't raise it the controller. So. All right. Let's um. Start it up, Trev. Yep. Let's go. The link's up, brother. So we are live. The link's up. Sweet. Ready to go. Yeah, I'm sending link out too. Awesome, All right, bro. start it up. Yep. So I'll just yeah, that's right. I'll wait for I'll him. just accept that invite and I'll press start first and then yeah. Yep. Cool. All good. Right. All right. Good okay. luck, boys. Thanks. See you, mate. All right. So I can close that down. We are live. So. <laughs> oh, look out! We've got the got the beautiful, beautiful, loving wife who's joined the uh, stream as well. Big hello to Nemo, cart dude. Everyone out there watching tonight, look at this beautiful intro. Project Cars Two. How good is this? Hiya, Nemo. Hello to Brad too. Look at that. Comments on the screen here tonight. How good is this? How good is this? That's right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching us, right around the world. That's right. Who said anything about an off-season? Hello and welcome, everybody. This is Live Project Cars 2, and tonight we are here. And uh, I'll tell you what, we think we are gone for a couple of weeks, but uh, that's about it. And we're back live tonight for a couple of uh, very interesting races. And uh, we're here tonight for, we're going to be at the beautiful Catalonia circuit a social test race tonight and uh, this is going to be absolutely fantastic racing in the LMP2 Nissan cars 15 minute qualifying session followed by a 30 minute timed race no mucking around tonight we are ready to go racing followed by race two at Watkins Glen also a 15 minute qualifying session followed by a 15 lap race. I'd like to apologize uh, in advance to everyone watching at home and uh, on the live stream tonight I have been trying to get over uh, a touch of the flu which I picked up on the weekend so I do apologize if the dulcet tones aren't quite as golden tonight. But uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome uh, a new commentator into the commentary box uh, tonight. We thought we'd give the young boy a run. I speak of none other than Fubbles. He's done plenty of laps and spent plenty of time out on the track, but it's uh, his commentary debut tonight. A very good evening to you, Fubbles, and welcome to something a little bit different, mate. You're in the commentary box tonight. 
Yeah, good evening, Trevor. Welcome to you all tonight. Um, so this track, Circuit Barcelona, is one of the most famous in Spain. It hosted its first F1 race in 1991, hosting every Spanish GP since. It's a 4.655 kilometer track. It's a rather technical circuit with double apex corners and hairpins. It's it's considered, although it's considered a medium speed circuit, some emphasis should be placed on downforce to get the best lap times. Of course, uh, a track that uh, we're currently seeing the uh, 2019 F1 cars do their testing at. Uh, and as you said, uh, FUB's a good mixture of uh, low downforce, high downforce, low speed corners and some high speed corners as well. And uh, like we said, 15 minute qualifying session tonight in these LMP2 cars. As we see Cart do there and uh, rather interesting livery on that car. He's out on the circuit tonight. Now it'll be interesting to see what Cart dude can do, Fubs. He's always, uh, he always shows good pace. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if he can get those tyres warmed up and set a, a lap time early. But he's not going to get them warmed up in the gravel. No, absolutely not. Oh yeah, we, we know how good Cart dude can be. When he's on it, he's quite unbeatable. Yeah, it's just he just needs to make sure he keeps the car on the track. While well, that's, I think that's the first rule of racing, anyhow. So let's see what he can do tonight. So here comes Cart do now, and look at this beautiful camera angles here tonight. Like you mentioned, uh, Fubs, this circuit uh, quite a a fairly long and colourful history at this circuit. First uh, F1 race in '91 as uh, yeah. Cart do doing some donuts for the stream. And, uh, boy, he's putting on a show there, our man Cart Dude, uh, the Tasmanian. But, uh, yeah. also uh, a quick mention as well, it is a, a test night tonight, and uh, we are trying out some new technology as well, Fubbles, and for everybody watching at home, we are using uh, OBS, Open Broadcast Software, uh, on the PC. So you might see a few... Uh, little interesting uh, tools on the screen. You can see uh, everyone's comments now as well. If anyone subscribes to the Kid Buyers channel, don't forget uh, we're on the road to 1K. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, you'll be able to see comments on the screen. You'll be able to see in the top left-hand corner, you can now see how many people we have watching the stream. Fubs have almost cracked uh, double figures. And we're only seven minutes into this stream, so that is fantastic stuff tonight. And uh, also, big hello to Brad Morey and uh, Nemo, always uh, one of our household uh, favourites. Kaima as well. Who could forget about Kaima? Uh, Kaima Byers. Now, you might want to change that uh, YouTube account name. It's not lapping anymore. And uh, thank you, Brad. And there it is. Our first subscriber of the night. And he gets a golden star. How good is that? Sorry, I'm a little bit, you can hear the excitement in my voice, Fubbles, but that's our first uh, official subscriber uh, with this new bit of software. Thank you very much to Brad. Fantastic stuff. We might get the, uh, the live subs in the top right-hand corner at some stage uh, tonight or maybe uh, next week. But uh, hashtag road to 1K, and uh, thank goodness I thought that star was going to stay up there all night, Fubbles. But uh, anyway, can't do now. He's not looking uh, very confident yeah. out there. The back end of that car is very, uh, very twitchy under braking, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Um, I think he's just trying to get those tyres warmed up at this stage. I, I don't know what kind of setup he's running. He may not be running a, a setup on his car at the moment. He might just be driving it straight out of the box. Who knows? So here comes Cart Dude across the start finish line. Yeah. yeah it yeah, it's a 136.425, so that puts him second behind Andy at the moment, who tops at set, tops the standings with a 33.342. Let's see if he can improve on this time. Someone else has got on the board, it's Waffles with a 33.363, already very close at the top. It uh, sure is very close. I can't manage to see those times uh, either on in the top left-hand corner of the screen, Fubs. I'm not sure whether that... Is, uh, is a visual option which we might have to fix up. <coughs> uh, I can't see the just flick, it, flick your uh, settings around, Fubs. Like I said, uh, yeah, I thank you, Jason. The <laughs> just uh, yeah, I might not have the timings on your screen. 
What's the timings? There? Oh, there we go. There we there we have them. Uh, Trust currently in P1 with Andy in P2, Waffles in P3, and uh, the rest of the boys there just getting uh, getting settled in tonight. But uh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice already. I uh, like I said, I have been getting over the flu. But uh, so there are the times. There are the times on your screen. Trust currently in P1. I'm not coming through the stream now, so you just you guys keep going, commentating, keep going. Um, <coughs> I'm not coming through. <laughs> keep talking. Okay, yep, no worries. Oh, no, yes, I yep. am. Yes. Right, <laughs> you might, you, we might, it might have to be a team effort here tonight, uh, <clears throat> tonight, fellas. I'm sort of losing my voice. It's going in and out, but uh, big, big thank you to Nemo yeah. for the support as well. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. So... Here we see yeah, trust. You got, it, you got it up now, hold on. Right. All lap in the last in the last sector. He doesn't have much fuel left, so he's definitely running a qualifying setup by the sounds of things as he hits breaks into the very tight little section here. Just gets through the last corner over that little curb there. Let's see what kind of a time he can get. Whether he can improve on his 32.1. And he has. He's done a 37.31.7. My apologies. Which puts him over a second clear at the top of the standings. And there we go. He's uh, he's just decided that might be enough there, Fubs. A 131.714 as John yeah, Dog. And uh, we've seen that quite a bit yeah, there. he must have just come. Go for it, Fubs. Oh, he, he must have just come out of the pits there with cold tyres. And you've uh, you got to make sure you get your tyres up to temperature here. Very, very important indeed. i tell you what, how well am I going tonight? <laughs> anyway, never mind about that. So here comes Cart, do it again. Uh, just to confirm their trust. Uh, 131.714. And uh, John Dog. As soon as we jumped on board, those tyres were uh, were going off. A little bit cold. Oh, John Dog says Brad Prince Thakor. Uh, that almost sounds like something uh, something a little bit naughty. Big thank you for joining us tonight, Prince Thakor. Doing good, Trevor Nemo. I love you, brother. And uh, I'll be shouting you a uh, a, ba a box of chips and uh, a pizza. At the Grand Prix, that's for sure. Speaking of the Grand Prix, Fubs, are we, am I going to see you down there this year, mate? Well, if you're there on Saturday, then yeah, you probably will see me because I've only got tickets for like that one day. Which, I don't know if that's a good thing or, or not. It's just, my dad said he would rather go on the Saturday because there's a bit more action. And to be honest, he's correct because you have two supercar races on that day. Yes, uh, of course, the opening round of the F1 season. Cannot wait for that. I might see you down there Saturday, mate. I'm still deciding whether I uh, will make a full weekend of it or not. But anyway, enough about my personal life. Here comes Cart Dude. And uh, <coughs> I beg your pardon. I'm having a great time here. I love you too, uh, there, Nemo. And, uh, yep, make it a Gatorade, says Brad. All right, this is fantastic stuff. As a cart dude, yeah. oh, he might be starting his second run now. Six minutes remaining in this qualifying session. Always important to set a super fast time early if you can. And uh, here he comes now. So, uh, well, I find curious about well, I find curious about cart dude's setup is he's running quite a lot of fuel, seventy one point three liters. That's definitely interesting. He should be on a much lower fuel load if he wants to get a better time. Is it? He obviously doesn't seem that fast tonight, which isn't really like Cart Dude. He's a bit more business in the way he operates. Usually uh, very business-like, but uh, interesting to see from Cart Dude. Recently went on holiday, of course, so he's come back nice and refreshed. And uh, he had to accept second place in the SRL Championship in season number three. Tim has joined us. Says, "Hey, Trev." Hope you're travelling a lot better than me, Tim. Great to have your company, though. But, uh, yeah, I've just got something in the back of my throat. as Waffles! Oh, <laughs> just, uh, just deciding to uh, launch himself uh, into the uh, into the paddock there and uh, have an early shower. Here comes Mighty Murph. Everybody's favourite New Zealander. Looks to be a little bit of lag out there for Murph. But these cars, they're still looking awfully slippery, aren't they, Fubbles? Yeah, 
uh, down those straights. Yeah. Yeah, they, they sure are. These cars are really high in downforce. They are very, very grippy, and you have to drive them pretty quickly to get the best out of them. Because, yeah, yeah, because these cars are quite volatile as well. You really need to treat them with respect to get the best speed from them. Yes, uh, no doubt about that. Uh, Brad saying, Waffles flew. Nemo says, Hey, I'm hang, I'm the favourite. He says, I'm the best Kiwi. Or, ki Kiwi. Kiwi, I should say. Always plenty of competition, not only between Australia and New Zealand, but between the Kiwis as well. And hopefully that internet connection uh, <laughs> holds up there. I'm not sure. Not sure yeah. what's happening with Murph. Maybe uh, you just need to reset the modem over there in New Zealand. Brad says, Fubbles for driver of the day. Are uh, you that good, Fubs? You don't even need to be out there on the track, mate. You can do it all from the uh, from the commentary box. But here comes Mighty Murph. Now, has he set a time so far? Yes, he has, but it's a 136.6. He comes across the line. In fact, he might be just starting that hot lap. And the lights are on up to six gear. Look at that, 280 kilometres an hour. And Nemo says, Alan is from the north and I'm from the south, A. Eh? A bit of north versus south action. And how good is that? And uh, I've only been uh, I've only been sort of north. Uh, I'm not uh, right up with the uh, geography of New Zealand, but I've been to Auckland a couple of times, and uh, well, it wasn't too bad. But uh, oh, Murph, straight off the track. What yeah. happened there, Fubs? Oh, it just, it just <coughs> looks as though the car broke loose from him, and he wasn't able to recover it, so he just had to put it in the gravel. I think, as we just spoke about earlier, these are very volatile cars, so I think. Alan just found the limit and couldn't control it. Yeah, and that's that's I guess that's the uh, the trick, isn't it, to uh, Fubs? You've you've got to be on that that ragged edge and on that limit. But it's when you go over that limit that uh, it's hard to really get them back, isn't it? Uh, if you just it doesn't take much, does it, to just go go over that uh, edge and the next thing you find yourself heading to the scene of the accident. Well, no, it doesn't take that much. Especially in these tightly sprung LMP2 cars, you really got to drive them correctly because they can just snap on you if you make the incorrect, if you make a wrong move. Yes, very unforgiving, that's for sure. So just uh, two and a half minutes remaining in this session now. <coughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, and Truss is still sitting at the top of the timesheets with a 31.7. Andy is sitting second with a 32.951. Waffles with a 30. 3.363. It stayed pretty much the same for the last couple of minutes. Let's see if someone can break into that top three. That will be the challenge. Here comes Mighty Murph. And uh, you can see there, two minutes to go, and he spun again, and he's made contact yeah. with somebody else there too, so it's uh, not going right for Murph at this stage. And, uh, well, I tell you what, he's, no, he's got to get back around now, doesn't he? And the challenge is going to be, can he set a quick lap before the end of this session? Well, he's really gone into the pits, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to go back out again. <laughs> and uh, just uh, like I said, bear, bear with me tonight. I, I tell you what, it's a good, it's a good thing you're here, Fubbles. Every time I talk, it's uh, like I've got something scratching my throat. But anyway, here comes, here comes V Fingers. I might get you to uh, talk us through this one, Fubs. Yeah, so he's just rounding up the last sector once again. Those those curbs are actually very brutal. So you just got to make sure you keep the car steady over them. He's, got, he's going to go down the main straight. Is he going to... What's his time going to be? It's, he hasn't improved. Either that or he didn't even get the time. So, here he is. He's probably going to do another lap. It's hard breaking into the first corner. It's not that bad of a corner, actually. Then you have this massive sweeper, turn three, which is kind of like a double apex corner. Because you gotta, it's, you got to have it wide than tight than wide. That's how I take the corner anyway. He comes into turn four, which is also a pretty difficult little corner. It, it starts off tight, but then it gets very, very wide. You're also hitting the brakes here very hard into a left-hander, kind of like a hairpin, I'd say. Coming up to the next left-hander, which is a bit deceptive. Because you got to make sure you don't run too wide. Oh, I think it's... Did you actually run a little bit wide there for now coming into this high speed right going down into the final sec 
final sector. You're getting just over 250 kilometers before he hits the brakes. Makes a turn. It's, that's also a very tight corner too. This entire last sector is extremely tight. As the, as the checkered flag comes <laughs> out the session, fingers, let's see what kind of a time he can do. As he weaves his way through this final sector once again, he's going left then right. As he comes onto the final straight, wants to see if he's going to improve on his lap this time. So here comes fingers across the line now. No, he stays in sixth. And he stays in sixth. And uh, Brad saying V fingers for the win. Nemo says brutal. And uh, Jace just saying let's get a roof cam, Fubs. And Brad saying we're losing viewers, Trev. Yeah. Don't worry, we will get them back, my friend. Don't you worry at all. And uh, yeah, that's what she said. All right, so the end of qualifying. So drivers just completing their hot laps. And uh, Aussie Bro, currently in P5, 2.4 seconds off of Truss's time. The 131.714, which was good enough for provisional pole position here tonight. Don't forget to uh, stick around as well. We will also be... Uh, having a 30-minute timed race here at the Circuit de Catalunya here in Spain, usually sunny Spain, and uh, Nemo, thank you very much for that. Oakley doakley And uh, I'm not going to be too oakley doakley tonight, I can, let, I can tell you here and now, but uh, there we go, the end of qualifying, Fub. So it is Truss taking pole position with the 131.714. Waffles with the 132.258 ahead of Andy in P3. 1.2 seconds further back in P3 ahead of Cart Dude. Maybe just foxing a little bit, not showing his uh, his pace entirely tonight. Uh, and then it's uh, fifth for Aussie Bro. V Fingers in sixth, and then John Dog, 2010 in seventh, Pointy 74 in eighth, Righty in ninth, Mighty Murph, rounding out the top ten as we go down the order. Womp uh, was in P11, but uh, now we uh, are ready on the starting grid. Look at that, the LMP2 cars there, 11 of them. All lined up here, and what is going through their mind as they stare down into turn one, Fubs? Don't hit anyone. Don't hit anyone. That's or at <laughs> least try to minimise the risks, essentially, because it is a very long run down to the first corner, so they just got to make sure they keep enough space going through that first sector because it is a pretty big slowdown before things start to open up. So here we go. Big thank you to... Uh, to Brad and Nemo and Jason and everybody on the comments and the live stream here tonight. Like we said, doing things a bit differently. We are ready to go racing here tonight. And uh, the drivers, 11 of them. We are getting ready. Always a tense time, isn't it, uh, here as we wait for those lights on the starting grid. Don't forget to keep getting your comments in tonight. 30-minute race. And uh, Brad just saying this series needs better cars. Well, hang in there, brother. We're uh, going to be having Season 4 of SRL coming in uh, in about a month or so. Maybe a bit more in a few weeks' time. But, uh, boy, the tension. It always kills me as these cars come onto the grid. Anyway, here we go. We are ready. Truss in pole position. Waffles behind him. The lights are on on the cars. The lights are on. Now they're off and they're away. Here they go. The stream down to turn one. Truss maintains the lead. Waffles in second. Can't do it up to third. He's got an incredible start here tonight. Aussie in fourth. And it's Waffles there. Scooting around the outside of turn one. Somebody off there at the back, someone's around. It might be Murph, or is it Womp at the back? No, in fact, it is Murph there facing the wrong way through turns one and two. And here we go. So it's Waffles in the lead. Truss in second. Cart Dude has made his way up to third at the start of this race, and he's putting all sorts of pressure on Truss in P2, Fubs. Yeah, he's just, he's just right there on him at, right at the start. That's exactly where he needs to be. Because Truss is very, very hard to get by. Like if he needs, if he needs to stay with him, if he wants to have any chance at him, when there's another opportunity. 
So here they come now, streaming through lap one. Look at that, the top four separated by just two seconds. This is absolutely incredible. It's Waffles and Trust, then Cart Dude. So that gap now, almost a second, as we ride on board in this beautiful bonnet cam. And there's nothing ahead of him but clear track at the moment, Fubs. <laughs> yeah, he got to it off to an absolute blinder there. Going around the outside in the first corner, that is very daring. He's put himself in the perfect position to start this race. As so, as all the cars make their way make their way through the first lap. So you see them all streaming down. It's a it's a one kilometer straight, so it's definitely a lot of time to get yourself sorted for the first corner. Yes, that's right, and uh, so the end of lap one, on to lap two, and have a look at Waffles. He managed to jump Truss off the starting line, and he's absolutely, literally streaking away now. The gap was about a second on lap one, and now it's already up to two seconds here in this race, and it's always important, isn't it, Fubs, to get out early, get that gap, get some clear air, and he's got nothing but clear track in front of him. Yeah. So it's always the best yeah. position, isn't it, P1 at the start of a race? It is the best position, but it's another thing to keep it to keep it there. Having a fast start isn't necessarily a good thing, but if you can keep it steady for the remainder of the race, I think he's going to be he's definitely going to be in contention to win this one. And at this rate, no one <coughs> can catch it. And have a look at that. And uh, Jason there just reliably informing us that Waffles Trust, Andy Cartoot and John all did these cars at this track a few weeks ago. So they've got some experience. And uh, Cartoot was the winner with Andy, Andy second. Annie. Uh, are you racing? Wilco says Brad. No, we've got him for more important things than that. Uh, but don't forget he will be back for season four and he might uh, have a little bit of a surprise as here comes Waffles now, that gap 3.5 seconds already lap three, and he's got a three second gap, so he's streaking away by about a second a lap. And Andrew says, bring back Rob. And uh, no, we've got him now, we've got Jason, we've got Rob, we've got Fubbles. So uh, he says, no wheel mate, we'll be commentating in the next race. Sorry, those comments in the left hand corner. How good is this streaming uh, though, Fubs? through the uh, PC so many more toys to play with but uh, they are quite distracting those comments in the left hand corner but anyway enough about that he's still getting away at the front uh, waffles but uh, yeah. cart dude then has slotted into second place so we've missed that but he's managed to make a move and up to second yeah he, 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 didn't get, he got off to a pretty good start as well he was fourth on the grid he managed to just split the gap to make sure he was up into second so I think we'll just maybe we'll just go down the order here. So you have so you have Waffles first, Cart Dude second is Andy following following about a second behind Cart Dude. So we have um Truss who's in fourth. He hasn't had a great start to this race. Maybe he can make up a bit of ground. Well I actually think he's made a mistake because he was in front of Cart Dude for a while there. So we have Fingers who's in fifth, John Dog in sixth. Boincy 74 in 7th, Aussie Bro in 9th, and Womp who's in ninth place, and that rounds out the field. That, uh, that is your top 10, Andrew says. Fubble, start talking more, brother. I reckon uh, you're doing a good job, Fubs. Uh, first, uh, first time out here tonight, and uh, like I said, I have been... A little bit crook with the flu, so I'm not quite uh, not quite myself lately, but uh, people say that about me every day. But anyway, thank you for the comments. Keep sending them in, of course. They will be displayed on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And uh, we can see there are eight viewers currently watching the stream. I think we've got up to about nine or ten fubs. So uh, we are going viral. And how good is this camera? Truss in P4. Look at that. Staring down Andy in P3. He's about 1.8 seconds behind Andy in P3 at the moment, but fourth place. And what is going through your mind, Fubs, when you're in the cockpit, you're in the car? What would Trust be thinking at the moment? He got pole position. He slipped down to fourth. We didn't see quite what happened, but what's going through his mind at the moment? Is he just thinking defensive, or is he thinking all-out attack, use those tyres, and try to do his best to catch Andy in P3? 
oh, I think for trust now is just to kind of get into a rhythm and not try to get too carried away. He probably could try to ca close up on Andy, but I think for the moment it, he needs to keep his position and then wait for an opportunity to pass. And he's like, at this stage, you shouldn't really be trying too hard. You should just wait for your opportuni wait for your opportunities at this stage. Yes, no doubt about that, and uh, I, like I said, I do apologise, I keep losing my voice every 30 seconds or so, but uh, I am managing to uh, mute the microphone and do all my coughing, sneezing, and having my coughing fits off air, but anyway, never mind about that, so boy, where is the time going here? Lap 5 out of, out of nothing really, it's, uh, it's a tied race of course, 30 minutes, yeah. and uh, we are missing Rob tonight as well, Jace, need F1 Rocks Racing, he'd be keeping those top 4 on us, Crofty. Um, I don't know why I always kick into Martin Brundle. Uh, Mighty Murph saying we need good cars. That's funny. I thought Mighty Murph uh, was racing. But anyway, we saw him have that incident early on. And uh, he must have retired from this race. So not good uh, for the New Zealand contingent here tonight. As uh, So lap 5 now. 133.6 last time around. So not only is he out front, but he's easily setting the fastest lap times of the race uh, at the moment, uh, Fubs. Yeah, well, he's obviously got his car set up to be quite aggressive. I don't think he's really aiming... Well, uh, well, I think he is aiming to do the race quickly, but I don't know if outright pace is going to get him the win necessarily, but at this rate, he's going, he's going very well, and, and he's definitely on for a win. Well, maybe not definitely, but, you know, he's in contention. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. I love your confidence there, Fubbles. But here comes V Fingers. Is uh, we're just looking at some of the drivers lower down the order. Jason saying, "If I were racing, I'd be leading." Uh, another man with plenty of confidence. That's what we love to see. But uh, V Fingers now. Where's he? A one thirty-three point nine one five that last lap. So into the one thirty-threes along with the top three in this race. And uh, V Fingers then currently in P5, 10.6 seconds off the lead. But a bit of a race of endurance this one, 30 minutes. I guess the drivers would be uh, pretty familiar with uh, doing uh, a race of that length, but you never know. You have to concentrate right up until the end. And uh, we mentioned a bit of history about this track uh, previously, Fubs, and uh, started in 1991, has hosted the Spanish Grand Prix ever since then. And uh, we've had some famous drives at this circuit, haven't we? Uh, I remember Schumacher getting his first uh, win here for Ferrari in atrocious conditions back in 96. The weather's a little bit better here tonight, however. And uh, also, uh, I think he finished in fifth, uh, finished in second, actually, and he was stuck in fifth gear in the Benetton. But anyway, that was back in 94. And I've got to shut up, Fubs. I'm showing my age here, mate. Yeah, I've heard that story. The one race that <laughs> comes to mind, funnily enough, was 2012 where I think the Ferraris weren't actually, had some issues and Red Bull also having problems. I, I can't remember the full story. I only remember it because Pastor Maldonado got his one and only win here. The guy who's actually a meme for being such a dangerous driver, let's just say. But in 2012 was a crazy year. I think we had like six different race winners in six different races, but then Sebastian Vettel just completely ran away with the championship. But for a moment there, Williams was on top of the world after quite a lot of um, bad times, let's just say. And Williams have never really risen back up to the top since, unfortunately. No, fair to say, uh, yep. You feel that you... I reckon you're spot on there, Fub. So that was their last ever win in Formula 1. I think the garage might have uh, caught fire after that. And, yeah, uh, it actually did. You fast forward seven years and they can't even get the car to, uh, to Spain for a test. So uh, things not going that great for Williams, but... Uh, one of the traditional names in Formula 1, so we wish them all the best. But, uh, geez, I tell you what, uh, you, you, I, who could forget David Croft? Uh, I, you know, I, I, love a good, uh, I love a good line from Crofty. And uh, I remember, I think we had seven or eight different winners, I think, in the first seven or eight races uh, in that 2012 season. And David Croft saying, there's a new winner in Formula 1, Pastor Maldonado. And, uh, boy, gee whiz, I'm, I'm not going to do that again. But, uh, no, fantastic season. But, anyway, I'm doing what I usually do, Fubs. Uh, you wanted to get used to that, mate. I just completely go off topic and start rambling on about someone someone or something else. Uh, yep, 24, 2014 Williams season was pretty decent, says Murph. 
Uh, you're spot on there, mate. I think they might have got pole position uh, in Austria, I think it was, in 2014. Uh, I know they were running pretty close to the front in 2014 and 15 with Bottas and Massa. But it's all gone downhill ever since then. And Cart Dude, uh, just getting back to this race here, Fubbles. Cart Dude, that last time around, a 132.669. And he's closing that gap on Waffles. It's down to three seconds. Yeah, well, I think that that's the cartoon we we know. He's definitely gain. He's definitely gaining. I, I don't know if he'd be able to bridge the gap at this stage. If he keeps catching, maybe he can. But it's going to take quite a bit of an effort if he wants to get to waffles. And as the great Murray Walker once said, passing, catching is one thing, passing is another. Yes, uh, that is no doubt about that, and uh, well, we can't we can't quote the great man Murray Walker tonight uh, with the half the race gone and half still to go, because uh, I guess we can when it gets to well technically we we could. We, we could couldn't we when it gets to fifteen minutes, but uh, counting time instead of laps, and uh, Mighty Murph there pole at uh, at Austria and Monza, and uh, I reckon you're right, mate. Uh, Massa and Bottas had a few podiums in that season, and uh, yeah, I sure can at the fifteen minute mark. I tell you what. Um, I'm on, uh, I'm on Panadol, Sudafed, and like five other things, so, uh, if it, anyway, so if I'm not quite at the top of my game, I'm, uh, completely zonked out on, uh, on a lot of different, uh, flu medication, but anyway, enough about me, 17 minutes, 17 and a half minutes, in fact, remaining in this race, and Cart Dude has, uh, just, uh, he's got a penalty there, and Truss looks as though he's had a spin as well, and now he's dropped down even further, Fubbles, he looks to be in P5 now, so it's, Going from bad to worse for him. Yeah, well, as I've seen in other races, Trust can be very, very fast, but his, his setup, I don't think, is one that is comfortable for, like, a race distance. There's been many times where he's made mistakes, and I think it's due to the fact that his setup may not be adequate for the race. Like, he's very fast in qualifying, but he's not so strong in the race. And you need... You need to be strong everywhere, don't you, Fubs, if you are going to win. And, uh, well, Wahid Zafi saying, so danger driving home. Big hello to, uh, to you uh, there, Wahid. Jason saying, Fubbles just goes whack. And you need to be that you're right, though, Fubs, mate. You need to be the complete package in racing. You can't just be quick on the Saturday. You need to do it as well uh, for the race uh, as just to be that to, to round out uh, your weekend. And look at that, beautiful, these cars, absolutely beautiful. I love the liveries on these LMP2 cars. In fact, uh, the liveries on the Project 2 cars as well. Don't forget, Wahid, thank you for getting your comments in. And uh, good to see Project Cars retweeted us as well. How good is this? And uh, I know I'm not in the best nick, but anyway, between the both of us, Fubs, we should be able to get something right. Don't forget, Wahid, to subscribe to the channel. And you will get a shiny golden star, my friend, in about 40 seconds uh, airtime for your username on the channel. And uh, that'll be terrific as well. So trust now, P5, 16 and a half seconds off the lead. So 16, about 16 minutes, under 16 minutes remaining now, 16 seconds off the lead. It's going to be hard to see where trust can, uh, can really make inroads into that top three uh, with only 15 minutes to go now, Fubs. Yeah, he's, he's by far back from Andy, but he could make it up if he's quick, but hmm, it's a bit of a stretch at this stage. So here he comes now, Truss. So he's closing uh, that gap ever so slightly, but it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. And, uh, well, he's just slipped down the order. A bit like uh, Nico, Nico Rosberg. And, uh, yeah, I have heard about the restaurant on the moon. I think uh, great food, but there was just no atmosphere. <laughs> I beat you to that one, Murph. You can't, you can't. I tell you what, you've got to get up pretty early to beat me with the, with the jokes, mate. But, uh, anyway, thank you for trying. And Womp, our cameraman has gone off the track, and now he's down in P9, and he could be under threat for, uh, for, for a points finish here, uh, Fubs, if he keeps that... If he keeps uh, spinning like that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't need. I'm not sure what he's doing at this stage. Be perfectly honest. And yeah. well, I 
I'm not, I don't think he's sure. He's, he's creating his own track there. I think he's taking the layout that uh, this circuit used to be when it first opened uh, in, in the early 90s. But anyway, Jason there saying we could be uh, could be bringing the hammer down. Not sure about these cars. Would be good enough. Would they uh, would be good enough for a season? Hashtag Bernie. Yeah. So, uh, oh, Womp's gone off again. Just creating some sand yeah. castles or castles, wherever you're from in the world there and mighty murph want to hear a joke about construction i'm still working on it and uh and uh, jace just saying get off uh, get the camera off womp it's not good for the live stream we can't be seen there we go that's better thank you jason and uh yeah that is uh i tell you what it wasn't the best uh it just uh, as soon as it must have been a commentator's curse pubs i don't know what happened this is much better though bonnet camp with with uh, with v fingers here and just you've done you've done plenty of laps here, Fubs. Talk us through what this lap is like. As uh, somebody, oh, oh, we just see it. Go for it, we mate. We just see Andy go off there. So V Fingers is going to try to make the move on the inside here. It's just, he, he, and he makes it stick well and truly. Uh, it's a bit of an unusual spot to go off for Andy, but thankfully he's managed to keep it on the track. And it looks as though we have a bit of a battle on our hands now. We sure do. Here we go. V fingers then. And uh, oh, I tell you what, second and third. Look at this. V fingers and Andy. A little mistake there from Andy. But now he's going to have a go back at him on the main straight. Have a look at this. The slipstream across the start finish straight. Is he going to make a move on V fingers into turn one? Fubbles. Uh, well, fingers is covering the inside line, so I don't know if Andy's going to be able to go around him. No, not quite, but Fingers makes a little bit of a mistake there, so Andy might be able to get a run on him into turn four. He's, he's going quite wide there, turn three. He's probably trying try to make a dive to the inside. He just shows the front end, but he's not quite close enough at this stage as you, as you go into the ne next hairpin. And he's desperately trying to find a gap, but Fingers seems to be covering all his options at this stage. So... And he's going to have to work a bit harder for this one. So this currently, uh, I reckon, Fubs, the closest battle of this race here tonight and the closest battle on the circuit, you'd have to say. And uh, yeah. here we go. Oh, Fubbles runs slow. Uh, sorry, fingers, I beg your pardon. Your Fubbles. Uh, <laughs> he's three runs slightly wide. And, uh, oh, that's going to give Andy a go. Is he going to go down the inside? Shh. Truss is... Uh, don't forget about Truss either. He is closing in on this battle. You're definitely right there, Wilco. But, uh, well, these two battling each other. It's going to let Truss in, and he's got the pace again in their side-by-side. -side. Well, this is not going to end well at all, Fubs. Oh, well, if they if they get too close, then there's definitely going to be contact. But the be there's, this is a huge benefit for Truss. This puts him right back in the contention for a podium, which is, which is good news for him after having a pretty poor start to this race. There may still be something that he can do. There might still be something to salvage for Trust, but here we go. Never mind about that. Here comes Andy. Down the inside, V Fingers holds the outside line. They come back at each other. They're good mates, these two. Oh, I, uh, I don't know whether he'll like that too much. Uh, Andy getting pushed off. You might say he got fingered by Andy. Oh, that's not very funny at all, is it? And I'm not, I'm not sure whether we could go with that joke, but anyway... Kid buyers being a little bit risque here tonight. Don't start laughing, Fubs. You're going to get me going too. But, uh, well, still status quo at the moment. And we wrote Truss off before, but now he's back. He's not too far behind this battle at all. <laughs> Mighty Murph says, oh, my God. I can't believe Kid Byers said that. <laughs> Lucky his name is Veef. All right, we're going to have to stop this. Kid buyers always finding a way to offend someone or be controversial. What is going on, Fubbles? But this battle is continuing, and we've done 13 laps here in Spain. Yep. We shall have an trust. Hmm. What's that? I think he dropped further back. I think he might have made another mistake, because it now shows that he's 22 seconds behind the leader and about seven seconds behind this group here. So I think he's made another mistake. So maybe he isn't in contention anymore. But maybe we sh should we write him off at this stage? I think maybe not. You would be a brave man to write him off, that's for sure. But uh, well, trust spun when Andy and Fingers came together. We did see uh, we did see a bit of an incident there in the background, and. Uh, <laughs> 
Did I know Flames don't have shadows? I'm not sure what Mighty Murph is doing there after he retired early on in this race, but have a look at this. This is not over at the moment. As uh, Jason suggests, uh, maybe we could go to cockpit cam fubs with, with Andy, perhaps, just to see, see him hunting down V fingers. Uh, that's, uh, that's V fingers. Here we go. Now riding inside the cockpit with Andy. And where can he have a go here, Fubs? Where is his best opportunity? As Wilco says, it looks a little bit like a spaceship cockpit. It certainly does so many buttons. And I can see Kill written on the uh, on the wheel there, as you can see on the screen for everybody watching at home. And I reckon that's exactly what he wants to do to V Fingers here. <laughs> well, I don't know if he wants to do exactly that, but... But, any, but anyway, he wants to make sure he gets a move done on fingers. And I think de definitely the first the first corner is a good place to overtake. And coming into the third sec, coming into that third sector, will also be another opportunity. But he's getting very, very close. He sees an inside spot. He's going for it. It's like he's going right alongside V fingers. Might just need to show the trackside cameras as they go side by side down towards the first corner. I'm not sure who's going to pussy out here because none of them are, got, are giving an inch. So Andy has the inside, but he may not keep the place. Oh, just getting through there. Not hitting, somehow avoiding contact with the fingers, but that was a bit of a risky situation right there. And Andy manages to put the move through. And he's into second. He is up into second. He has managed to get that job done. And I guess you might say the uh, the biggest risk is to not take one at all. And uh, Mighty Murph there just uh, saying, uh, yes, we, we better not tell you what, fingers and the P word. We've, I don't know what, uh, how, we've, uh, how we've got, uh, we've dealt that low. But anyway, enough about that. Andy now into P2. Let's just recap here. I think the one thing we've forgotten about uh, amongst all this and, uh, you know, I think that the, the interesting thing to think about here, Fubbles, is that uh, we've been keeping an eye on this, this gap so far and this battle and the gap to the front, but we're all the time we're forgetting that Waffles has really been the main man, hasn't he, in this race. 17 seconds, that gap, and he is sitting pretty out front. As uh, Jason there quoting the great man, Anton Senna. Uh, I apologise if my microphone's been really loud, but uh, I'm just trying a new system, like I said here tonight. And Jason says, once you no longer go for a gap, you're no longer a racing driver. But what, speaking of Senna, what an exemplary performance by this man, Fubbles. Six minutes to go until the end of this race. And he has been pretty much unchallenged after he passed Truss at the first corner. Yeah, he's, he's been unchallenged the entire way. An absolute class act. Waffles can really do, can really do well. And once he's in the zone, he's pretty difficult. He's as fast as anybody, really. So Waffles now. The man who's had pretty much the perfect race. As uh, Jason there throwing in a prediction for the next race. Of course, don't forget race two, the Renault Megan V6. The V6s will be out at Watkins Glen. Another 15-minute qualifying session followed by a 15-lap race. And uh, the prediction for Jason is a Renault Megan race up next. Trust to get the win. And uh, Trust always seems to be a pretty safe bet if you are indeed a betting man, which, uh, which I'm not. But here comes Waffles now. So five minutes remaining as he crosses the line to complete his 16th lap and start his 17th lap of this race and how do you feel uh, about the Renault Megan uh, Fubbles what's your take on the Renault Megan it's a smaller car V6 uh, is it easy to drive or is it a difficult one to handle hashtag ask Fubs get your questions in it's definitely an interesting vehicle because it's quite wide but it's also very short so it does have pretty good handling it's not as um volatile as these lmp2 cars like it definitely has a lot of definitely has a lot of grip but it just the car is definitely interesting because it is mid-engined and quite small and the shape is definitely an interesting thing and 
apparently on that car, very little is shared with the road car. I think only like the front lights, and maybe the maybe the roof is shared with the original car, and everything else is built from the ground up, essentially. So it's it's not a ridiculously hard car to drive. It is very planted. Yes, uh, very interesting cars, interesting cars, interesting track as well. Watkins Glen, former host of the US Grand Prix. Uh, back in the 70s, I think it was, but uh, a very famous circuit, very undulating track, a lot of elevation changes. As uh, just uh, keep getting those comments into the live stream, like we said, using uh, a little bit of uh, uh, just a bit of a change, using some different software for the live stream tonight. So we're not streaming through the PS4 uh, sharing function on that console, as we ride on bonnet cam now with uh, with our race leader Waffles and Bits. We're using OBS, of course, so you might see some new stream uh, overlays and uh, and comments, etc. So, uh, like we said, it is the off-season, but we are still trying things out, Fubbles, trying to make the stream better, make your experience better for everybody watching at home. And uh, I've got to tell you, don't forget, Season 4 is coming up uh, as well uh, in, in the next month or so. So don't forget, head to www.supreme racing league to get involved. And uh, did we mention also that we've had a, a retweet from Project Cars 2 Fubbles? So we are going viral tonight, my friend, and don't we absolutely love it? We do love it. So maybe Ian Bell can see it and see how good we are, but I don't even know if he has time to look at everything that's been retweeted. But any, anyway, this has definitely been a, quite a journey for you, hasn't it, Trev? You've gone from a very, very small channel to... A big challenge seeing that project cars that recognizes the hard work you put in is really great yes uh, thank you fubs and thank you to everybody out there as well and have a look at this we've got an announcement season four round one will be starting on the 21st of march you heard it here here live and exclusive you heard it here first folks on the stream tonight that uh Definitely put it down in your diary. Jason Wilkinson, the man we call Bernie Eccleston, the Bernie Eccleston of SRL Project Cars 2 on the, on this league. He says, put it in your diary. March the 21st, you better be there. And he said the cars and tracks will be confirmed over the next few weeks, so, you know. Thank you very much uh, to Jason there, and my goodness, I, uh, I did promise everybody at home, Fubs, that I wouldn't go, uh, I wouldn't go with that Bernie Eccleston impression. But uh, like I said, uh, Panadol and about five other things, I'm just not thinking clearly, and I've gone with it again. Mm. Well, so th yeah, Waffles has definitely been good out in front today. Uh, Andy's now got a bit of a gap to fingers, so I think he's going to hold his place. To stay, hold his place right now. You have John Dog, who's up into fourth place. That's not... A particularly bad drive from him. He's managed to stay. I think he's managed to stay out of trouble, and off is definitely not bad for him at all. No, that's uh, well. We haven't mentioned John Dog's name too much uh, tonight, of course, but he has driven a fairly decent race. Currently sitting in P4, and he has very much uh, slipped under the radar, hasn't he, uh, Fubs? He's just uh, doing very nicely there indeed and he's on course for a top four finish here tonight in terms of gaps the closest gap on the circuit at the moment of course is that gap between andy and v fingers uh that battle we saw a few moments ago uh with andy managing to take that second place but uh well john dog he might be a little bit bored out there in p4 uh, he's, uh, what, 10 seconds behind V-Fingers and about 10 seconds in front of Truss, so uh, there's not too much for John Dog to do as we count down to the end of this race. That is right, we might get back to Waffles uh, if we can, please, because uh, he is on his last lap of this race. And like we said, it has been an absolutely faultless drive from this man as we... Take him through the last lap here, Fubbles. What is going through his mind at the moment? He's 18 seconds in the lead. He's out front. The car's running beautifully. He's driving beautifully. There's not too much that can go wrong in the last uh, couple of miles of this race. Well, he'd be very pleased with, him, with himself. He probably didn't expect to win by such a large margin, but you got you got to take that. A mile's as good as a metre. And he's definitely showed everyone else what 
what to do. And yeah, it's definitely been a good race. He hasn't ha made any any mistakes. He definitely understands the way this car works. He definitely understands this track as he comes around through the last little section here. He's gonna come across the line in first place. No question, no doubt. He's going to win this race fair and square. Well and truly out in front by 16 seconds. Here he comes. And across the line he goes. Cross the line to win this race here at the circuit de Barcelona in Catalonia. Waffles takes the win. And like we said, uh, he got into the lead. He took the lead off Truss at the first corner and he stayed there ever since. But look at this. All oh, this battle's not finished there oh, as, uh, oh, as V Fingers crosses the line what's for happened second. Here? And what's happened to Andy Fubbles? He's completely made a meal of it in the, on the last lap. Mm, I'll, I will have to maybe check back at the replay. It looks as though he had suspension damage, so maybe he just went a little bit wild in that last corner. I'm not quite sure. That's definitely a weird one. I thought for sure he had second, so something's obviously happened off screen there. Well, very interesting indeed. We uh, we missed that one. We were too busy watching our race winner come across the line. Now, don't forget, of course, as uh, we just get ready to recap the results and John Dog. Decides to reverse down the main straight. Always, uh, always plenty of fun once you cross the line. And Pointy there, just uh, yeah. doing his best, best uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost impression. But here we go, Truss. I don't know what he's doing donuts for. He's uh, down there in P5. But uh, no podium interviews uh, either as well for everyone watching at home. And uh, we go straight into the next race, which of course uh, is with the Renault Megans. At, uh, at Watkins Glen. So there's the final results on your screen there. Fubbles Waffles taking the victory ahead of V-Fingers in second after a pretty intense battle with uh, with Andy, but uh, Andy there dropping down to third uh, after some drama on the last lap. John Dog quietly slotting into fourth place. Truss getting into fifth. Pointy there in sixth. Aussie Bro in seventh. Womp our cameraman in eighth. And I think that is uh, that we've only had eight finishes, 11 drivers started, eight finished the race as we get ready, Fubbles, to head straight to Watkins Glen. You might want to get on that plane really quickly, mate. Head down to the airport, and uh, I don't know how long it takes to fly from Europe to the US, but we are heading straight there with the uh, with the absolute magic of, uh, of video games and the PlayStation 4 network. We are going there. That's right. For everyone watching on the live stream, we're heading there right now. And uh, we will be there in just a few moments, Fubbles. But, uh, well, one race down, one still to go, Fubbles. Yes. Yeah, so the Magan race is definitely going to be an interesting one as the car isn't quite as quick as this, but I think it is a riot to drive. It's actually really good. So hopefully we'll see a bit more action in that race. As we just wait for the drivers to come into the lobby, the host has nominated me as a broadcaster. Do I accept? Of course I do. Uh, yes, so don't forget, everyone watching the live stream, we've got uh, three currently viewing the live stream. Uh, don't forget to get your comments in. We will uh, get to them. Uh, they're, of course, uh, a little bit easier to get to uh, Fubbles. Uh, I'm not sure, though, whether you can see those comments on your screen. I think that might only be me, but anyway... So here we go, the drivers now. Watkins Glen is the circuit. 15 lap race, 15 minute qualifying session. Uh, no formation lap. And, uh, well, mandatory pit stop for this race as well. So it's always good, isn't it, Fables, to throw a bit of a cat amongst the pigeons when it comes to race strategy. Yeah, it definitely is a good idea. To, um, so Watkins Glen is a very fast circuit indeed. So is it, is it, yeah, it is a very quick circuit without very tight corners. So you need to tune your car to make sure it can get a good amount of speed. You still need some down force to go through those quick corners. But this is a good old-fashioned Grand Prix circuit with plenty of elevation changes. And that's what you want. Uh, a good old-fashioned circuit. Uh, 1,600 hours or 4 p.m. local time. Uh, I think the weather is looking like it will be cloudy for this race here tonight. And uh, like I said, I do apologise if you're just joining a, screen, a stream. I have been uh, suffering from the flu, so my voice 
severe coughing, sneezing, and uh, just generally, that's just me dying in the background. But uh, anyway, that's why we've got Fubbles here, who's doing a fantastic job. Fubbles, how are you found it? Made an hour into your commentary career. We're one, one race down, mate. How are you finding uh, a change? I guess it's a change out of the cockpit, off the racetrack, and into the commentary box tonight. Yeah, it's definitely been an interesting experience. Like, I've liked to do commentary for a while. Like, I've done commentary at, at school for soccer games, weirdly enough, and everyone really liked it. So I guess it's not a huge change for me because I have done commentary before. But doing commentary on a race is a little bit different to a soccer game where a race can sometimes be a bit less hectic than a soccer game where these people are passing the ball really quickly. And uh, <clears throat> so it's it's good to uh, good to know. I tell you what, I, it sounds like our main man, Bernie Eccleston. I mean, Jason Wilkinson has joined us in the party chat and on the live stream. Uh, Wilco, welcome to you, mate. G'day. Yes, uh, good to be here. I've been secretly listening on how you've uh, both been going. So, what on Fubbles tonight? Well done, good job. And um, good luck in the uh, race now, as I'm going to be taking over for the rest of the night. Well, uh, Fubbles, don't, uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us for race one, mate. Uh, fantastic job, and uh, who knows, uh, you might have a full-time career in commentary, mate, if you uh, ever decide to hang up the keys and, uh, and retire, mate. Well done. Thank you, very, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it. So uh, thank you, no worries, mate. thank you to Fubbles there, and uh, well, the big man Wilco himself has stepped into the commentary box. And uh, it's a good it's a good thing you have too, Jace, because uh, my throat is absolutely gone at the moment. But uh, still, 15 laps, 15 minutes qualifying, 15 laps of this race. Uh, like you heard from our man uh, first, and just before we uh, we get into this uh, second race, Jace, the uh, exclusive exclusive announcement that season <laughs> four. The announcement was that uh, round one will be starting on the, and then you left us with a little bit of a drum roll there, mate. March the 21st. Two days before the uh, most important day of the year, 23rd, which is my birthday. But anyway, I'm going off topic, mate. Season four. And uh, boy, it is going to be absolutely huge. Uh, now we've got this uh, this new uh, streaming software too, brother. It's going to be exceptional for season four. Yes, uh, exciting times. Uh, it's nice. It's a little bit of a test uh, to see what cars we will be doing. And... Going off that race, I know we're missing a few drivers tonight. F1 Rocks and V8 Man and all that. They're all not here tonight, HSV. So they're all enjoying their uh, off-season break. But um, we'll uh, get started here into this, what I reckon is going to be quite a fun little race here uh, at Watkins Glen. Here we go. Three, two, one. You know the drill. The countdown is finished and we are ready to go racing. Heavy cloud here tonight at Watkins Glen. As uh, we see, we're just loading up now. Like we said, 15-minute qualifying, followed by a 15-minute race. This circuit, one of the traditional uh, tracks, 5.43 kilometres, 11 turns, a highly technical circuit. As uh, as Devon there just uh, deciding to leave leave our party, so uh, we're, back, we're back to having a <laughs> private party here. Uh, but uh, no, don't forget, everybody, get your comments in uh, here tonight. A uh, big hello to everybody watching out there uh, on the live stream, of course. Like I said, doing things a little bit differently. And uh, who said anything about an off-season, Jace? We're back again, mate. And, uh, well, we only had one week off in the end, mate. Now we're back. Yeah, it's exactly, you know. Uh, we're only racing online, so we don't have to be uh, actually having a full-on season break here or, you know, a couple months break like the... Uh, normal drivers do but we've got car dude back in righty's back in for tonight so back to 10 guys uh which is as good as we can get for tonight but yeah here we go so track temps in the uh low 30s so beautiful for these slick tires just the one compound in these cars uh so they should be working beautifully around here so we're looking for uh, some quick times so here comes Cardo. Yep, yep. <laughs> our favourite. Uh, I was about to say he's not a Kiwi. Jeez, I'll tell you what, he'll kill me if uh, if he hears me saying that. Our favourite Tasmania, of course, and righty these Renault Megans, little V sixes. And I'd say what they uh, not too bad. They uh, they get the job done. These cars as righty now. Look at that cockpit uh, cam here, riding inside the cockpit there with righty right left. 
And, oh, that's a tricky corner, and uh, commentator's curse, he's lost the back end there, and that can happen with these cars, a bit like the LMP2 cars, if you, if you get it wrong, the rear end can just step out at a moment's notice, uh, and then, next thing you know, you're facing the wrong way. Yeah, these are uh, little light cars, but they've got a fair amount of horsepower, and on the cold tyres, they're pretty, uh, pretty bad. You see Truss has just popped up in the top left of there. A little red mark across his name, which means he's got a drive-through penalty. Oh, sorry, a pit lane penalty. No, I'll start again. He's got a grid penalty. That's the uh, penalty I was trying to get to there. But uh, so he's obviously had a little mistake in the pit lane and actually let go of his limiter, which I found that out. It's pretty easy to do at uh, Bathurst, if you remember correctly, a couple of weeks ago. But uh, yeah, so Cartoon, you're going to be the first one to uh, start a lap here. Uh, he'll be hot onto the collar after dropping out in P2 in that race as then as uh, and here he comes. So here comes Cartu now, getting ready to start a hot lap. Oh boy, just a, a slight a little belt of scotch, and the throat is good as gold, Jace. Let me tell you, as here comes Cartu <laughs> now through turn one. And uh, Truss uh, looks as though he's already got a penalty, but anyway, riding on board now with our favourite Tasmanian here. Watkins Glen International Circuit in the Renault Megans. It doesn't get much better than that on a Thursday night. Oh, and I tell you what, <laughs> he's, the wall, uh, he's on the ragged edge, isn't he, at the moment? Uh, and where is the best place yeah, to make up right time around this man. place, Jace? It's all about momentum in these cars, and that is not, <laughs> that's not the momentum you want, banging off the walls. But, um, yeah, you sort of keep the momentum up, but, you know, with the cars having not as much horsepower as the GTEs we've had in their past, and the Vat Supercar, and even the LMP2 car we had before, it's all about, you know, just making sure he gets the apex nice and smooth on the throttle. You know, you don't want to be wheel spin, you don't, you don't want to be, you know, make a little correction and stuff, you just want to be nice and smooth. So if we jump on board, Cartu is probably one of the smoothest drivers we have. You see, just little, little corrections on the wheel, running out nicely, racing lines looking beautiful. And, um, once we, uh, everyone else gets fired up and, you know, doing their laps, we'll be able to jump on the board with other smooth drivers in trust and, Andy, Waffles, you know, so it should be good. I'll keep the talking going. I can hear you <laughs> having a swig, so... Um, mate, I, just, I yeah. am good. I'm good <laughs> as gold, mate. And speaking of smooth, uh, smooth as a baby's behind. I've seen plenty of those lately. But uh, anyway, never mind about that. Or you could say as smooth as this 18-year-old uh, Chivers Regal, uh, which I'm currently enjoying. But anyway, yeah. enough about uh, what I'm doing. And just how good is this lap from Cartoon as we ride on board with the great man now across the start-finish line... And he's up to P1. 46. And you just saw how smooth that lap was, didn't you, JC? He went through turns 7, 8, 9, and 10. <laughs> and he's almost taken somebody off there, but he is our provisional <laughs> pole sitter so far here tonight. Yeah, we'll be expecting times in the uh, 44s, maybe. Oh, they might scrape in the 44s, but it takes a couple laps to the, uh, get the tyres up to temperature, so. The fastest guy uh, in the practice we've had, and limited practice, not as much as we uh, usually do for uh, during our season, but the practice we did, Truss actually set a low 44, 144, with uh, Waffles not too far behind that, so they'll be, uh, you know, Truss goes there with the mid 45s on his first sight, which is pretty worrying for everyone else who uh, is out on track at the moment. We might ride on board with Fubbles, actually, see what he's doing, and then that's not Fubbles there, it's Fubbles. Well, here is Fubbles now. He's, uh, I tell you what, he's gone from Spain to the United States. He's gone from the commentary box into the departure lounge. Oh, look at that, and he just manages to... Uh, <laughs> into the drift seat. <laughs> tell you what, no, no jet lag there to speak of. He's uh, managed to get through that corner. Uh, fairly cleanly, but uh, what about that lap from uh, from Cartu? Just trust they're going into the one uh, the mid 145s. The man who is center esque when it comes to qualifying. But uh, I've got to say, Fubbles not looking too bad on this lap so far. Yet to set a lap time. Uh, just five drivers uh, setting any lap time so far here tonight. And oh, a bit of a mistake there. <laughs> Fubbles are getting it all wrong through the uh, through the inner loop after the back straight. Now he heads around the outer loop. Not very American sounding corner names uh, here tonight, Whoa. but uh, Waffles and Bits, our man who dominated race one in the uh, in the Logitech livery there. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, the, uh, the liveries. It's just a great game in general, isn't it? Uh, but here we go, Mighty Murph now. And what can, uh, he, what, the, uh... what can he do here, Jace? It's going to be hard to see. 
uh, Mighty Murph. I guess your tip was Truss, and he's currently sitting in P1. He's going to be a hard man to beat, isn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty good at the uh, old predictions. Um, but oh, I'm glad you do your best Italian impersonation here, because uh, as you see that, the red, white, and green, it's Italian. It's a Ferrari. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh, oh and righty, righty uh, just, just whacking the wall Maybe there. Struggling. And Andy, uh, I tell you what, geez, I, don't forget everybody to get your comments in. We need to, I tell you what, I'll never get old, I'll never get sick of uh, seeing comments appear in the top left-hand corner of the live stream. But, uh, wow, I, I don't know who that was, whether that was uh, that was Luca de Montezemolo or something, whoever it was off the movie Rush, <laughs> where uh, I think it was Nicky Lauder doing his first test in the Ferrari. And pulling up and saying that it's the car... It's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's a piece of shit. You cannot say that. It's a Ferrari. I know. But it understeers like a pig. Anyway, um, I really... <laughs> I, I swear, I tell you what, Go. people just... Uh, if it's not Ned Flanders, it's Nicky Ladder. If it's not Nicky Ladder, we're dissing, uh, dissing the Americans. Who knows, we might even get to Donald Trump. We are in uh, in the United States tonight. But anyway, enough about Trump. We'll save that for Rob. We'll save that, uh, we'll save that for the great man, uh, Rob Pearson. As here comes Cardu out of the Nothing last valid. corner, <laughs> and uh, boy, straight to the pit lane. He had uh, a bit of contact with the uh, with the wall there, coming out of that last corner, and it just didn't do him too good at all. Straight into the pit lane, but uh, he's a competitive beast, the man with two heads from Tasmania, because uh, he's eight tenths off that time that uh, the truss has set. Speak of the devil, this man riding inside the cockpit with him and uh, he's a competitive man here in uh, here in qualifying still a few minutes remaining and he'll be looking to get out and set another time as have a look at this man uh, not enough o's in smooth i'd say jace but uh, he comes around the last corner runs slightly wide but uh, he's managed to gather it all up and get it together and can he go quicker here as he crosses the start finish line <laughs> he does a 144.6 stunning pace from trucks yeah, very good. Uh, so, as I said, I've been the, uh, going to give myself a bit of a plug here, but I've been the one behind the scenes, giving all Trev and Rob the uh, predictions for pole time and stuff, and they were pretty spot on uh, last season. And what did I say? Did I say low 44? I'm just scraping the 44s, I can't really remember now, but never mind. We'll uh, ride on board with Waffles. There's a little bit of traffic up ahead, but you got to keep this car nice and smooth through those... Uh, that the chicane, the chicane there, and um, out through the boot and the heel and the toe and whatever other corner <laughs> names are here. Ah, yes. <laughs> All different names here. The uh, the back straight, the inner loop, the outer loop, the shoot, the toe, the heel, the boot, you name it. And uh, I'm <laughs> guessing that's because it looks famous <laughs> season one quote there. <laughs> it, uh, it looks it looks a little bit like a boot. Uh, so yep, very obvious here, and uh, here in the land of the free. But uh, speaking of the boot. Waffles and Bits currently in P3, 3.2 seconds off uh, off of Truss's pole time. So there's the massive gaps uh, right through these uh, these qualifying times. But we've still got a tick under mm. six minutes remaining until the end of this qualifying session. So Waffles will be looking to go quicker mm. here tonight, and uh, he's looking fairly good. Oh, scraping the walls! <laughs> so close to those walls, and uh, he's really on the ragged edge, isn't he? He's on the limit. Uh, we spoke about it in race one and the rear end getting out there, but he's managed to keep it out of the barrier. And can he improve on 147.865? Ooh, I don't think he can. And he stays in third position, Wilco. Yeah, have a quick little look at the timings here. And his last lap was a 47.8, so... Sorry, no, his last lap was a 3.18, so that means he's just come out of the pits. So this is his climb up here, so... We might uh, see, uh, right on board maybe, see my uh, oh, nice bright yellow boots and gloves here, so see what he can do here Let's through the uh, chicane, go keep it nice and tight. Nice and tight yeah. through, the, uh, through the inner and outer loop here, this uh, part of the track. Heading through turn five now, Waffles uh, with a 318 there, so obviously uh, just an outlap. Getting ready for the big show on this lap now as we uh, take a look at Bonnet Cam. And he'll want to get a time in pretty quickly. Time is uh, is running out rather quickly. Just a 15-minute qualifying session here tonight. And uh, John Dog has snuck up into P3 as well. But uh, I've got a bit of an affinity with this car. The Logitech livery, nice and clean. Nice lines with those uh, 
red, oh, I was about to say red, but uh, I'm thinking of the Italian car <laughs> of, uh, of Murph. But uh, no, the yellow gloves, the yellow boots, it's all about the colours. That's what we love about this. But uh, here comes Waffles now. He's, uh, he's been through the boot now, turns 9 and 10, which uh, don't have a name for the information that I've got. But anyway, uh, here he comes. Oh, I tell you what, they're flirting with that wall, aren't they, uh, Jason? If you get it wrong, it can ruin your entire lap if you uh, go too wide uh, in turns 9 and 10. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it sort of sticks out a bit there. You don't really notice it when you're driving, but uh, if you're looking back at it like we're doing here on the cameras, it actually does stick out quite a bit. So you look for someone to... Uh, as Waffles goes up to a 46.1, up to P3, but again, you're always going to be getting quicker on the second and third lap here, so as long as this guy doesn't hold him up, which he doesn't, beautiful, I don't know who that was, but right on. But um, yeah, that wall, it could sort of catch someone out during the race, so I'm going to throw another prediction out there, and someone's going to crash in that corner there, I reckon. And, uh, well, I tell you what, I reckon I needed you around, Jace. Uh around the house today when uh, I thought I was having a bad day. You could have been my horoscope, mate. Uh, you could have told me I might face challenges today, and indeed I did, as, uh, as, the, as a pipe burst in my bedroom wall and sprayed water out under the street, and for everyone uh, in Vanilla West, uh, they weren't too happy about it. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> yep, no, no running water, and it's about 100 degrees. It's uh, like I've just... It's like I'm not in America. I could be in America, but it's more like I'm, you know, somewhere in uh, Northern Africa. But anyway, Waffles, here we go. He snuck back up to P3, but he is not going to be happy with that at all, Jace. As uh, the time counts down now, can he get... Can he sneak... Uh, well, he's six tenths off car two. That gap is uh, enormous, isn't it, between first, second and third? Yeah, it's uh, quite a big gap. I thought these cars would have been a little bit closer, but it just shows how good uh, Truss's lap was and then how good Cartu's lap was. But they both haven't come out of the pits, so I reckon they're done for now. So it's up to Waffles and John and Fubbles to see what they can do. Andy's looking pretty quick here normally, so we'll see what he can do. He obviously hasn't done a clean lap yet, and neither has Ozzy and uh, Mighty Murph. So uh, several oh, drivers. Laughing, or here we go, <laughs> Waffles. Here we go. Here we go. It's getting quicker. One, uh, one point three now off of Truss in P one, but John Dog in the little uh, in the little Bellissimo wagon. Oh, and the tell you what, they've uh, we've seen a few drivers uh, with the rear end of the uh, of their Renault Megans out there. But here he comes, John Dog across the line. Is he going to upset the apple cart? No, indeed, he might be starting nope. a hot lap now, so just over a minute remaining in this qualifying session. Apologies in advance, I've uh, mentioned it a couple of times, I have been suffering from the flu, and uh, yeah, I'm not quite uh, not quite yeah. on top of my game, but anyway, here's John Dog, and also, not um, a bad camera this one, this is uh, down at the track level, Jace. Talk us through this lap. Yeah, this is a nice little bumper cam here, just see the elevation changes here. So again, uh, you've got to keep it nice and tight through these uh, S's here. They're very fast, but you get the weight transfer wrong. Like that. You have a bit of a slide, and that costs you big time there. So go back to a bonnet cam. This corner's pretty flat out through here. Let it drift out wide. Get it to the right of the track, and then try and hug, hug the inside here, and let it run out. And then doesn't get it back in, so it just delays throttle. We see how much throttle we have to you know keep taking out the throttle couldn't get it nice and clean but here you can sort of throw the car in it's sort of cambered so it grips up again he's just ran a little bit too hot the racing line is a little bit too wide at the moment but he's only a tenth down off his best so he can just fix up this last uh, sector he could sneak up to p3 as the time limit is officially done that's it we are out of time here tonight uh, complete qualifying is... Oh, com there's that wall! Got it. <laughs> Wait, I tell you what, I reckon that crowd, uh, the first three or four rows there in the crowd were getting a bit worried. I think uh, I think John Dog was heading <laughs> heading, heading straight for them. But anyway, here comes Fubbles. Oh, Fubbles hit the wall. Well, I tell you what, he's, uh, he's had his wheat picks, hasn't he? He's just uh, spent an hour or so in the commentary box with, uh, with yours truly, and uh, he's come out fairly feisty. P6 for him, just a fraction... Of a bit over a Three tenth. tenths up. Yep, seven tenths up on this lap. He's not too far off uh, Andy there in P5. Yep. And, uh, well, he's well ahead. Not well ahead. About a tenth or two ahead of uh, Righty as well in P7. But uh, here comes Fubbles now. He's got uh, a couple of cars up ahead of him. But I don't think they're going to worry him, Jace, uh, at the finish of this lap. 
No, that should be all good. Only two corners to go here. So, oh, look at the steering lock he's using to get that turned in. And this is the corner here. If you turn too early, hit that curb, you're going to fire off and be outside. Does that perfectly. Leaves a bit of room on the exit. Is he going to get Andy? And I didn't see. We'll see in about three seconds. Mm, yes, he did. He got him. He liked to P5 for trouble. So, good lap. And uh, trust takes pole. A fantastic performance there from Fubbles uh, just sneaking ahead of Andy to take P5 but there we go the final qualifying results and well it's more of the same you might say Truss taking uh, pole <laughs> position uh, there ahead uh, well nearly a second ahead of Cart Dude in P2 Waffles in P3 I wouldn't uh, I know you tip Truss but I wouldn't count out Cart Dude either they're heading into uh, turn one but John Dog in P4 Fubbles like we mentioned sneaking into P5 Andy in P6, then it's Righty in P7 as we uh, look to go down at the order. Aussie Bro nope. and uh, Mighty Murph there, 8 and 9. Womp in P10, and that rounds out your top 10. Uh, thank you, Tim. He's got a grid place penalty there as, uh, like we said, 15 oh, yes. laps here tonight. And uh, Tim Russell, is he in the race, Jace? That is trust, yeah. He is trust, that's right. I tell you what, when the, when the PSN and the... Uh, and the YouTube accounts don't match up. It's uh, awfully difficult. That's what's great about uh, you, mate. You just keep it nice and simple. But anyway, here we go. So there we go. What is going through? Look at that. We've actually got... Uh, we're live inside the cockpit of the Renault Megane for Cart Dude. And he will be staring down into Turn 1. Trust doing the same as well. And don't forget about Waffles, our race winner from Spain in Race 1. And John Dog as well. Fubbles there going through the grid. I tell you what, this is very nostalgic. It takes me back. See how quick you can go. Try and test me. Andy there in P6. Righty, Aussie, mighty. Righty, Aussie, <laughs> mighty. Why did I say that in a New Zealand accent? Womp. Our cameraman rounding out to the top 10. I reckon. I tell you what, Rob better be careful. I'm getting very nostalgic uh, with you in the commentary box, Wilco. God, I love those liveries as well. But here we go. Thanks for the memories, even though they were, no, they were good, actually. So it's all right. But uh, yeah, so good to see Cartoon starting first, because we know we are, he can't pass anyone. Cough, cough. <coughs> Couldn't pass me at Bathurst. Little shots fired at him there. But uh, yeah, so we'll see. He's got the inside run. We might actually get on nice chase cam here. We might go with Waffles. You'll see how good these guys start. And... Uh, yeah, let's see if Trust can make up for his poor start at uh, Spain and see if he can hold that outside and get to the lead. So many questions. Any second now. So many answers. Anything can happen in SRL racing, and it usually does. Here we go. Light cloud cover here for this race. Yeah. We're getting ready for the lights to come on, the lights to go off. Here we go. You know the drill. The sound of those V6 Renault Megane engines screaming into my headset. Here we go. The lights are on. Three sets of red lights. Then the green. We are out and racing there. And Cart Dude... Bad start, Waffles. Ooh, Waffles, not a great start. Cart Dude takes uh, P1 into Turn 1. Nostradamus strikes again, Jace. He said he might have that as Andy's Oy. around. So there's contact there already. A couple of drivers uh, around. And uh, Righty there might have uh, been involved uh, in an incident for Truss in P2. And he's lost the lead again, the same as race one, on the first corner there, Jace. Yeah, but look at the slip stream he's got here. He's going to have a go up into the S's. He's got the inside line. Cart dude knows he can't turn in there, and that's good racing there. So Truss using the slip stream, runs a bit wide. Cart dude runs it a bit narrow and cuts the corner, so he might have a slowdown penalty, but... I think yeah, you can see all those uh, exclamation marks at the top left there. They've all got slow down penalties at the moment. But um, Trust, yeah, started second. He was on first, but got that good penalty. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately, the uh, back mark is here. Andy and uh, Mighty Murph have both got taken out again in the, both races tonight. So um, might get that famous, I see red, I see red, I see red. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> we go back to the front. First time through the boot. First, uh, first lap out of 15 in this race here at Watkins Glen in the grand state of New York. And uh, lap one out of 15, mandatory pit stop here tonight. John Dog and Mighty Murph both running the Italian at livery, the famous uh, red, white, and green. But uh, you might say he's been all out of luck, Murph. He's been involved in incidents uh, early on on lap one in Spain in race one. 
and also in race two here at Watkins Glen. You might say he's shit out of luck, Jace. <laughs> yeah, very. We might uh, go back to what I used to do here at uh, season one, like in a nice good spot up on top of the hill there, and let you run through the order as quick as you can. Let's test you out, see if Here we go, I tell you what, I haven't got the voice for it, but I'm going to have a crack at this anyway. Let's have a fair dinkum, ding dong, I'll go at this. It's Trust leading Cartoon second, Waffles in third, John Dog in fourth, Bubbles in fifth, Womp in sixth, Righty in seventh, Aussie eighth, Andy ninth, and Mighty Murphy in tenth, and pretty pissed off, mate. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good job, but lucky there's only ten guys tonight, so um, I'll have to get Rob to test you uh, once he gets back to commentary, but uh, yes, yeah, uh, Little gap here, trusses are uh, forming, which is going to be beneficial in case you make a little mistake, as it's quite easy to make a mistake here. So, Cart Dude seems to be sitting in second again. I uh, we'll have to call him the bridesmaid. Uh, love sitting in second place, uh, old Carty there. But um, Waffle's up to P3. John, yeah, so there's nothing really happening at the moment. Actually, closest battle is probably these two. Uh, team Italian, sorry, Team Italy versus Team. France, as uh, Fubbles is running the traditional Renault red, white, and blue livery there. So, uh, might have a quick look at this battle as Cartoons drop back a little bit more. So, Fubbles now P5, and uh, well, he qualified in P5, and uh, he stayed there so far in the opening two laps of this race here tonight, but he's got a pretty good uh, view there of John Dog. Running the, uh, like you said, Jace, running the traditional French and Italian liveries. Uh, I guess we'll get a few people commenting in that uh, maybe yellow and, and red are, are more the, the colours. But we're just speaking about the national colours, the flag colours. Oh, oh Fubbles getting awfully friendly with that wall as Waffles is into Waffles the pits. Doing his mandatory pit stop, so he wants to get a nice, uh, nice clear track. Although he wasn't really right up Cartoon's uh, gearbox, but let's... There shouldn't be no tyre changes here, should be just, yep, three, two, one, and drop, yep, beautiful. So you always almost sorted them, but that's uh, the traditional Waffles game plan, is to pit early on, get some clean air, and uh, make up some time, which he did that at Spa in the GTE League, or GTE season, and of course he got the win there, so hopefully he can get some clean air, and he can put some uh, pressure on trushing, Truss and Cart Dude to make them do a nice pit stop. He does love to uh, to make that early pit stop, doesn't he? Like you said, it's a bit of a strategy, uh, the extreme undercut. As uh, here we go, Trust now 2.5 seconds ahead of everybody's favourite Tasmanian. Uh, it sounds like a new TV show, doesn't it? But can't do that. Oh, we've got to be actually careful. Me too. Careful saying that, because uh, Trust is actually a, Tassie, a Tasmanian as well, actually. So uh, maybe if Trust wins this, Everyone's favourite Tasmanian might be this guy, and uh, old Cartoon might get the boot. So, can you believe it? We've got Australians, <laughs> New Zealand. We've got all sorts of nationalities uh, in this race tonight. We've got Australians, New Zealanders, uh, and we've also got Tasmanians as well. They're a, a bit of a, an interesting state down there, and uh, I've got to say, it gets pretty cold down there, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure it'll be nice and warm down there tonight uh, if these two, if one of these two can get up. Uh, we always talk about a public holiday in Tasmania. I'm not sure whether that's actually happened uh, so far, but in, in comes Cart Dude. Oop. Cart Dude, sorry. So yep. in to the pits, the pits no, Jay. So just reacting no. there to Waffles' uh, early pit stop. Yeah, definitely. Um, so that means what's Trust going to do? He's got good pace at the moment. You see he's in the 45s. Everyone else is in the 47s. So uh, yeah, we'll see what he does, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't really care, but it's all about this. So Waffles coming around the last corner now. Cartoon just dropped out of his box. You can see on the map of the top right there. I'll let you bring it in. Who's going to get it? Who is going to get it? You watch the pit lane. I'll watch the track. Look at this. Oh, this is going to be so, so Whoa, close. He's wide. I reckon Cartoon's got him. The undercut him. has not worked for Waffles. Well, how about that Cartoon there? Maintaining uh, that position and uh, well, he's a fair way ahead of him. It looked awfully close, didn't it, coming out of the pit lane there? But uh, well, Cartoon's got the jump on him here, Jace. Yeah, he does. Um, he sort of ran wide. <laughs> uh, he sort of cut the pit lane, or sorry, he would have got a warning for uh, driving over pit exit line there. But never to mind. Um, yeah, Waffles 
44 litres, plays car to 46, so yeah, fuel should be, you know, shouldn't be an issue here tonight, but yeah, let's we'll see, uh, see what Waffles can do. I think car to might be able to keep the uh, gap as someone's had a spin, I think it's Mighty Murph. Oh, this is going to be tight. Let's him through. Is he going to let Waffles through? No, he's not. So, Kartu and Murph having a nice battle here. This could have an impact on this race. Mighty Murph there, uh, riding on board with him. He's had a bit of an incident there. The Kiwi with the Italian at livery could be a recipe for disaster. And, uh, well, he's spent more time in the sand uh, than me uh, when I'm out there playing golf. But uh, he's had a shocking run here tonight. But that's what the off-season's for. A little bit of pre-season action. Uh, just to iron out any uh, any issues that we're facing. As in, in comes, comes Womp. And uh, in the uh, in the teal or turquoise-looking uh, livery there on the Renault Megane. But trust, look at that. Streaking away at the front. Nine seconds now. That lead as he comes through. The, uh, the inner outer loop there, the chicane going through the outer part of what it here. Just, just uh, have a look at that, uh, just above that gear there, you got that temperature. He's running very, very hot, so I wonder if he's accidentally left his quality set up on, he's left his radiator too, sh like, too close, because sitting over 110 degrees as he is, it's going to be hurting the engine a bit, so we'll have to keep an eye on that, see what... Yeah, okay, so John's running pretty high too. What's Kart do? He's only on 94. So, I don't know. It's, um, yeah, yeah, I reckon Truss is sort of running very tight and uh, hurting his engine a little bit, but never to mind, a pit stop will give you that engine damage nice and fresh. So, it's all good. So, so many factors aren't there, uh, Jace, to take into account. You've got fuel, you've got tyres, there's pit stop strategy, as, as we saw, of course, with the battle between Waffles and Carp Dude. But uh, also, the temperatures as well oh. are a factor there. And Carp Dude, well, my goodness me, Mighty yeah. Murph putting up a good battle, but oh. I reckon Carp Dude is going to get through sooner rather than later, Wilco. Yeah, uh, these two are good mates here, so I'm sure Kartu will be saying, get out of the way in the uh, nicest possible way, as Trust is actually in the pit, so this is going to be the big moment here. Right, he's followed, no, sorry, it was John Dog following him in, but do you watch the pit lane? Yeah. I'll watch the track. Here we go, and Trust. Here we go. Jeez, I tell you what, he nearly ran over the lollipop man there. He didn't have much of a chance, did he? <laughs> he's, uh, he's keen, he wants to get out. Fubbles uh, takes over the lead with Righty as well, but it's all about this battle. Trust coming out of the pit lane. You know the drill. We can. Uh, we don't have to watch the pit lane now. He's back out onto the track, and oh, I reckon that's cost him, Jace. <laughs> it has, but... Jeez, this is a good little battle here as Waffles just dropped off a little bit. John Dog slotted behind them, so Cart Dude, we want a nice little cockpit cam here with the slipstream, see him closing in. Is Murph going to defend? Oh, there's a bit of Max Verstappen going on here and holds his position. Well, so mighty Murph there. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. I tell you what, you said. Yeah, maybe, uh. <laughs> I think Carton's having flashbacks in the Bathurst race where he can't pass the guy in front. I tell you what, that's... Another that's, little digger. Oh, there, there we go. go. He gets the job. Gets the job done. But uh, that's the second time you've mentioned uh, that defending at Bathurst there. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nothing, uh, nothing wrong with that. It was a... Uh, to say it was a masterful piece of driving is an understatement, my good man. But uh, don't forget, so he is through though, can't do there, getting the move done on Mighty Murph, but uh, Mighty Murph put up a pretty decent fight, but, uh, which is a surprise for a Kiwi, but uh, he's managed to lose that battle though, a bit like the trans-Tasman rivalry that uh, we have in the cricket, and I know he's going to start talking about rugby, but I'm going on again oh, about Kiwis, because he's tapped that wall. Ah. And here comes Righty. Where is he? Well, I tell you where he is. P1 now. Fubbles is also into the pits, Wilco. Yeah, we're well, interested to see where uh, Fubbles is going to come out in uh, terms with Cart, dude. As I don't know, we're going to get miles ahead, actually. So, never mind that. Will he get out of, in front of John? Or oh, we'll see. It's going to be close, actually. I think John Dog might actually have him. Yeah, he's already gone past, so... Fubbles looking for the best place of maybe a 6 or 7 finish at the moment, so not to worry, as uh, Trust is actually catching up to Andy, who has not made a pit stop yet. 
So that could be, uh, you know, if Andy holds him up, that's going to let Cart Dude catch up, as we might actually have a look at this battle here. Murph has got passed by Waffles. Oh, it's very close. High speed poker here. Helps to turn on the microphone. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Uh, what a battle we have on our hands here. Most of the drivers have made their stops, but uh, it is Mighty Murph now riding on bonnet cam with him. You can see Waffles. He's managed to get through, like you said, Wilco. He's uh, a few seconds up the road. Cart dude is well on his way in pursuit of trust in P4. Speak of the devil, this is the man we're riding with at the moment. These Renault cars, they've got a little bit of power there, V6 engines, and uh, plenty of torque, plenty of uh, power, and uh, they look absolutely magnificent on this circuit here at Watkins Glen in the United States. There's all car Ooh. dude. Must have made a mistake. Oh, it's in close. That wall. <laughs> God, this is some good racing here. We've got a couple of little battles going on, little spot fires, which is uh, good for the stream here. I'm not sure how many people are still watching at the moment. I'm sure you've got a live count there, actually. Uh, we do, two people. Might be, uh, and, uh, scraping, uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> scraping the barrel, uh, scraping the barrel here, but uh, those people who aren't watching, they're missing a good battle here between Cartoon and Waffles. So here they come into turn one. I didn't think two would go into one there uh, on the final part of that previous lap, but uh, there we go, Cartoon and Waffles doing battle. And that's also keeping Mighty oh. Murph interested as well. I can see this ending in tears, Jace, but I, I've got my fingers <laughs> crossed. God, this is seriously, this is nuts. Oh, Murph's got a big run now. He's going to make it three wide. Womp, well, get your camera out! Oh, there we go, it's all good. I lost the camera for a second there, and uh, Waffles has to cut the corner. Cut, dude! In the wall! Oh, he's come back on track! Oh my god, this is nuts. What is going on? Talk about an off-season. These, these guys... On, on, it's on for all young and old here. I'll tell you what, we, we love talking about our ding-dong battles, but uh, I'm not too sure whether uh, Mighty Murph will be entirely happy uh, with Car Dude coming onto the track there, but uh, anyway, it's good to see him still in the race. Usually he's uh, just uh, hammering that comment section like there's no tomorrow by about uh, halfway through the race, and it is half the race gone, half still to go. Oh, we've got another little battle here. Fubbles made a move on uh, John Dog, so it's uh, up for position six there, but <laughs> see how quick this man is tonight. Trust is just uh, flying right, he hasn't made a pit stop yet, so that could be happening, no, not yet. But, um, yeah, this, this, this battle is still going here, Cart Dude and Waffles. It is very close one, yeah. indeed, and have a look at this, so third, fourth and fifth now, all separated by merely fractions of a second, Cart Dude gets a bit of slipstream, we know it's OP in these cars and at this track will go, he's not going to quite go down the inside there. But I reckon he's going to size him up for a move somewhere around this lap. Lap 9 out of 15, so about 6 laps to go until the end of this race. And I'm with you, Wilco. Who said anything about an off-season? We've got three viewers now on the stream, so uh, still, hang in there. Everybody watching at home, as uh, you're about to watch an incredible battle. And in fact, you have been watching an incredible battle so far. Here comes Cartoon. He got it all wrong here, didn't he, Wilco? on the last lap, much cleaner on this lap, and he comes through the outer loop here at Watkins Glen. I love New York, it says there on the sponsors boards, and Cart Dude is just slingshot past him. Jeez, where did that come from? Maybe Waffles had a slowdown penalty, because, oh, he, maybe Cart Dude had a slowdown penalty. I don't know, but they're side by side again. Cart Dude's got the inside line here. Might jump aboard with uh, Murph here, get a nice roof cam. Oh, the switchback from Waffles. Got Ridey up ahead, he must have made a mistake, he must must have damage I think, because he sort of dropped off the pace quite quickly. The Simmers come up to say hello and no, go away mate. Oh lock up there for oh Carthy runs wide again. Let's give me another slowdown penalty for him. Still got the inside. God, this is insane racing. And just to add a little bit, was, uh, oh! I tell you what, they're so, so close, aren't they, Jason? Uh, to add a little bit of extra spice into the mix, as we always like to say, there's uh, some traffic further up there. I'm not uh, 
sure whether that... Uh, that's Righty, who's at it's for position, it is for position righty, as beat, he comes in pits now, so... He's not going to like me for saying that, but so he comes into the pit, so he's out of the <laughs> equation. Then side by side, nothing between them here, Wilco. I've got my heart in... I tell you what, this is incredible <laughs> stuff. <laughs> What a... Oh, cut dude! Oh, jeez, he's got a penalty. Cut dude, uh, but finding that some... was massive. All right, Simba, get off him. Interesting lines there. <laughs> I reckon uh, Waffles won't be too uh, displeased about Cut dude there. I reckon uh, he's doing what you're. He's, he's saying exactly the same thing as what you're telling Simba. He's saying, "Get away! I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want you anywhere near me." Uh, throughout the last uh, six laps of this race, and. Oh, oh my god! What was that? And uh, it was uh, it was like it was like it's a Ferrari, it's a Ferrari. It's a piece of shit. Oh, it, no. was, it was uh, well, it was like watching a, a horror movie in slow motion, wasn't it? We were riding on board with uh, bonnet cam there, and uh, we could we could almost see yeah. ourselves going to the scene of the accident. <laughs> and Waffles with uh, with a Renault Megane oh, uh, that's been top and tailed there, Wilco. Now he'll have to... Uh, oh, he's disconnected. <laughs> so, um... Waffles well, up to P3. It's, uh, it's all happening. And our Fubs, our commentator, could be on for a podium position here to cap off his night as well. Oh, my God. Oh, God, dude. Yep, Cart dude, uh, I reckon he had a bit of damage there because I'm pretty sure... He was the one that flipped, uh, yeah, look at his damage. Look at that car, that is not looking good at all. So he's going to let Fubbles go up the inside. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yep, I see some uh, cracks on the uh, rear taillights there, so I reckon you might see cars be pulling to the pits here. Well. Wow. And along with Waffles and uh, Mighty Murph has actually left as well, so, jeez, what was that? So is Cart Dude going to come into yeah. the pit lane? No, he's not. He's, yep. uh, he's still going and Fubbles with uh, still... Very much uh, all the bits and pieces attached to his car. Oh. And that was a little bit Max Verstappen like there from Car Dude, who's uh, always, oh, he's just drifted wide there. Thanks for coming. And oh, he's tried to, he tried to turn him then, but um, yeah, Car Dude likes to, uh, likes to defend quite hard uh, and quite late sometimes, but Pablo said, don't worry about that, mate. I'm just going to make you look like a dill and do the old crisscross. The old crisscross I think Car Dude has some aero damage. Oh, I'm getting bitten as we speak here. Um, yeah, Cartwheel does some aero damage there, that's why he's a lot slower on the straights. So, uh, Bubbles up to P2, he was in P6 <laughs> about a lap and a half ago, so... Well, might get, uh, Murph might jump in the comments in a second saying, what the hell was that? He's, but, uh, uh, he's already beaten you yeah, to it, uh, he's way ahead of you there, he's uh, mentioned <laughs> some expletives, all capital letters, uh, with the F word and a few other interesting things there as well, but uh, so he is not happy. <laughs> So he's run into trouble in both races here tonight. We said it was going to end in tears, didn't we, Jace, when we uh, when we were watching that uh, a little bit earlier on? But uh, anyway, once again, uh, your prediction came true, Jace. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I've just seen uh, Owen's comment there on the uh, stream, so I think he's actually quite happy with that uh, rollover that he would have actually seen on the stream if you were with the uh, rewinds there. But Kartu with the... Uh, giving us all the wink there with just the one headlight. <laughs> Still trying to stay on the back of Fubbles there to get P2, but I reckon it's a battle that's uh, not going to be won because you can see the car is absolutely torn up on there, so uh, that's looking very good for another big win tonight. I tell you what, well, uh, just uh, takes me back to me driving my 1989 Holden Astra, fresh-faced, 18 years of age on my P-plates, and I think I had one headlight that wasn't working, and I always used to take the back way to work, so uh, the local uh, local police officer wouldn't pull me up. But anyway, I digress once again, because here comes Cart Dude. He's got the damage. Fubbles uh, still, like we said, with uh, all four wheels and tyres attached and uh, still pointing in the, uh, in the same direction. Uh, apologies for uh, for laughing there a couple of laps ago, but it did. I tell you what, it seemed like a very <laughs> comical incident there. And uh, well, I tell you what, Simba must have come up at just the right time, Jace. But lap 12 out of 15 now. As our cameraman Womp seems to have a penalty there, but currently in P7, so not a bad performance from Womp either, Jace. Yeah, P7 out of P8. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. But um, yeah, he's. Uh... Got Aussie uh, just ahead there. You can see those brake lights in the distance. As you can see, the skid marks on the road there were from that big crash. And speaking of skid marks, 
I think there might be some in uh, Womp Sundays there, because that was a big moment there. That could have been another big crash there at the chicane. At the chicane. So there we go, Card Dude now back on your screen for everybody watching at home. Thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget, we had the announcement too from the great man Wilco himself that season four will be beginning in, drum roll please, March the 21st. So uh, you heard it here first tonight uh, on the live stream. Don't forget www.supremeracingleague.com.au if you want to get involved, if you want to get involved. I sound like a I sound like a pom there. Sometimes I just slip into the accents even when I don't <laughs> need to, but... Uh, Tell you what, talking about Womp as well here tonight, Jace. Uh, seventh out of eight runners. Sort of sounds like me uh, at uh, Daytona a couple of weeks ago, doesn't it? Uh, I think I might have been eight out of eight. But anyway, uh, full points, uh, full marks for trying. But here is Womp, speak of the devil yet again, and he has shall appear. Uh, lap 12 out of 15. So what can Womp do now? Four seconds until Aussie in P6 uh, just ahead of him. We said we could see those lights in the distance. And that'll be a good finish, I reckon. Andy there in P5, six seconds behind John Dog. So John Dog there in P4. I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me correctly, he was P4 in race one as well. And uh, once again, he's in a quite a lonely P4 there tonight, Jase. Yeah, there's only uh, nine or ten drivers. Uh, <laughs> most of the races are going to be a little bit uh, quiet for you. And uh, I happen to have a few of the uh, quieter races in the... Uh, GTE season, but it's sometimes better being out by your own because you can get into a nice little rhythm. You don't have to worry about you know breaking early or defending the car behind. But um, yeah, so I mean, for a race like this, bit of a fun race, bit of a social race, it can be a little bit boring for you trying to keep the concentration. That's why they're only shortish races tonight. But I mean, you know, say it's a short race, but 15 laps around here is no. Uh, no sprint race, that's for sure, but Fubbles holding well in second, pulling away from Cartoon. John Dog's slowly catching uh, Cartoon here, but he's going to run out of laps, I reckon, so might have to go back to the Aussie and Andy battle, as Aussie seems to be closing in on Andy here. So this is the closest battle uh, for the final couple of laps of this race here at Watkins Glen, and I couldn't agree more, Jace. Uh, 15 laps, only a practice race or a social race, but still... 15 laps in these Renaults, very, very demanding as Aussie there, like you said, making inroads to Andy in P5. But, uh, well, thank you everybody, a uh, quick thank you uh, in advance for everybody who has joined us for the live stream tonight. I think we might have even got a Project Cars to retweet, and every time that happens, Wilco, my life feels yeah. a little bit more complete. So big thank you to, uh, to Project Cars 2 and uh, those guys for retweeting us. Uh, always uh, helps to get those watch hours up. Uh, I've got the donation source here ready on the uh, on the OBS software, so hopefully we'll be using that at some point in Season 4. As Andy says, nice cars to drive. Thank you for that comment, Andy. And they look fun to drive, these cars. So you've spent plenty of time in the Renault Megane uh, over the course of your Project Cars 2 career, Jason. They are quite fun cars to drive, aren't they? Yeah, they definitely are. Um, I said the light touring cars are always good fun to uh, wrestle around because as I said, it's all about momentum. So that's when you're getting it, getting it nice to the apex. It rewards the smooth drivers, um, but it also doesn't take away the uh, doesn't take away from the aggressive drivers. If you get it right on top of the wheel, there you can uh, really throw the car around. You see, uh, I don't have a ball of the cockpit. You got to see what I'm talking about here. So you see how. See him nice and smooth, Aussie is on the turn in, picks up the throttle nice and slowly, you don't want to wheel spin too much, you sort of, you know, just keep the momentum flowing, where if you go on board with someone who is uh, pretty aggressive, as you can see by the steering lock there, Womp, just, you see, watch, watch the difference between the uh, turning here with Womp and Aussie, so watch this, it'll be nice to aggressive turning, and yoink, there it is, turns it in, puts the power on, the short shifts there, and you go back to Aussie, Watch this nice and smooth here. Look at that. See the difference there? So, and these two are, you know, lapping pretty close to time. So, there are, it's more about driver skill these cars than it is about setups and what car you're in, like it was in last season, where it was Ford OP, one week Corvette OP the next. But, yeah, so these cars, one next series, always going to be good fun. And you definitely see Aussie's definitely closing in on uh, Andy here. Only last lap now. 
he might have to actually jump on board with Truss if he wants to come on home soon, but I'll let you take Truss home. Here we go. So Truss, he couldn't get it done in race one in Spain. He lost the lead on the opening corner of the opening lap and he couldn't quite get it back. But he comes through the boot now for one final time. And you might say he's given everybody else the boot here tonight. Oh boy, fine form again from Kid Byers, but 26 seconds <laughs> in the lead as he comes through the penultimate corner into the final corner on the final lap of this race. Here he comes and a beautiful exit completes a perfect race. Redemption for Truss in race two. He got pole position and he takes the race win here again to be the king of Watkins Glen here tonight in the Renault. And don't forget about Fubbles, the man who made his commentary debut tonight. Mm -hmm. He's going to finish P2, but uh, yep, don't forget there is a battle going on further down the field as this man getting ready to come home. He'll be pretty happy with this result here tonight. He got strict instructions leading in to the live stream tonight, but he's managed to do... <laughs> Just as much, if not more, talking on the track. But there we go, across the line. And this, oh, Katu. There's contact here, Jason. No, I think Katu, uh, or maybe, I don't know, it's going to be a drag race to the finish here. But I think Katu's got no uh, front and rear bumper. So I reckon he's binned on the second last corner there. I'm sure he'll tell us what happened. But uh, yeah, anyway, Andy crossed the line, holds off Aussie. Uh, to the left. So, uh... Well, what about Waffles race? He went from uh, winning Spain comfortably to being on his uh, on his on his lid for a couple of seconds there to come last in this race. Well, from hero to zero, it doesn't take very long. I know he's gonna uh, he's not gonna like me for saying that, but he comes across the line plumb last. One day a rooster, next day a feather duster. Uh, that's an old saying from <laughs> kid the kid buys his old man. But anyway, enough about that. There are the final results on your screen. Truss taking the win after a dominating pole position. And uh, second place for Fubbles. Third for John Dog in the end in that striking Italian livery on the Renault. Fourth for Cut Dude. Fifth for Andy. And sixth for Aussie Bro. Womp in seventh. We saw him come home to take seventh place. And there we go. Waffles and Bits dead last, like we mentioned. Marty Murph retiring after uh, quite an eventful race there. He didn't finish race one. And he didn't finish race two. But Truss getting the job done here in this race here at Watkins Glen tonight. And I've got to say, Jace, we've had quite a successful uh, debut, haven't we, with the uh, OBS software as Brody has been good enough to join us. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to get Brody in to... Uh, I think you were telling me you've got an idea for next week, so I'll let you... <laughs> I'll put you on the spot here and let you run through what's going to be uh, yeah, on for next week. You don't want to ask how I race win. Oh, no, we saw how it went, mate. You uh, pinned in the uh, second last corner there, I think it was. Oh, uh, yeah, I had, um, I had damage <laughs> um, from the incident with waffles. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, in, I'm the best there is, pure and simple. So I wake up in the morning and piss excellence. Um, yes, but, uh, for next week, um... We have um, been kind enough, uh, Jason has been kind enough to give me the reins for next week, and we are doing a SRL last man standing event. So, the gist of it is, okay, say we have 10 people turn up, we will do nine free lap races, and at the end of every race, last place is eliminated. Cars will be drawn at random and track by Trevor. And Jason, if you're commentating or if you're joining, you can do it. <laughs> oh, depends, like. depends if I have a wheel or not. <laughs> Mate, let's do it on the pad. You'll be right. As long as you don't come last, <laughs> you've got a chance. Well. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. that's going to be next week. So, well, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, sounds good. I don't know if uh, Trev heard that or not, or if he was going to have a nice swig of his uh, shooters regal. Well, but, um... <laughs> I, uh, I I heard that you uh, you kind of lost me about three quarters away uh, through their car, dude. But I've got a week to get my head around it, brother. So uh, that sounds fantastic. I tell you what, uh, you said he'd join the party, yeah, and boy, he was uh, he was in here straight away. But uh, car, dude, uh, it sounds interesting. We always like to mix it up, don't we? Uh, that is what the off season's for, Jace. So uh, it sounds interesting. I can't wait for next week. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, and also, one thing, car, dude, hasn't. Uh, found out but I uh, we just sort of made an announcement midstream that uh 
the first race of season four is going to be the week after the Grand Prix, the 21st of March. So we've got a little before then to make sure yeah. it's all good for that. But uh, that yeah. is that is the worst kept secret. I mean, that's <laughs> everyone knows about that. Yeah. Nah, jokes. That's oh, looking forward to getting stuck into the next season. Whatever. Well, is there um any confirmation on what uh, car we are running it? Wilkinson. Nothing confirmed oh, so far, can't, so... Can't confirm, can't confirm anything? Well, I tell you what... Can't uh, confirm, it'd be a car with four <laughs> wheels, though. Yeah, Whoa. That, now that Tim, what just... is the Bernie Eccleston answer right there. <laughs> I've got to cancel my uh, MotoGP pre-order then, damn. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So I reckon, uh, well, so we'll wrap this up, I reckon. we might wrap it up, Jace. Fantastic stuff. Uh, bring it on. Can't wait, says Tim Russell. That's right. Uh, geez, the comments have gone quiet in race two. But uh, thank you to everybody who's watched the stream. We've, uh, geez, we've jumped up now. Five people now on the stream. But thank you, everybody, who has watched the stream here tonight. Like we said, uh, uh, the off-season, we're just trying some different software just to get everyone more involved and make it more interactive and more fun. Uh, by the way, tune in next week too. We're going to be doing something every Thursday night leading up to the new season, as you've heard, on March the 21st. Don't forget, uh, if you're interested in joining SRL, head across to www.sralsupremeracingleaguebeggyourpardon.com.au. Uh, I'll let you go and feed Simba and take him for a walk, Jace. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, he's going nuts at the moment. Everybody, I know. I just, I just felt it through the microphone there, brother. Um, so thank you to everybody for watching tonight. Big thank you to Fubbles too. Uh, who made his commentary debut uh, here tonight and took second place in race two to boot. So it's been great to have your company, everybody. Thanks for watching our live stream. Be kind to one another, and we'll see you next week.